Biden-Harris admin paves way for bureaucrats to take gender-confused kids from non-affirming parents. This election's going to be decided by the passing of information by people like us. Not, not me, us. All of us. So you guys sharing clips, sharing news stories, the fake news can't keep up. So their lies are debunked before they even get them out there. It's incredible how fast we're moving now. Charlemagne. Kamala supports taxpayer-funded sex changes for prisoners. Surgery. Um, for prisoners. Uh, for prisoners. Every transgender inmate in the prison system would have access. Hell no, I don't want my taxpayer dollars going I, to that. Kamala supports transgender sex changes in jail with our money. Kamala even supports letting biological men compete against our girls in their sports. Kamala is for they them. President Trump is for you. I'm Donald J. Trump, and I approve this message. Oh, uh, shit. You got, like, lefties on a lefty podcast who shill for the Democrats nonstop. And they're like, bro, I'm not here for this. And how do you win if the people who supposedly support you the most, who shill for you the most, can't do it? But she's for the trans. And you know what? There's multiple things. So we'll, we'll touch this. We got these activist teachers, activist uh counselors and they all sound way too much like this how am i gonna explain trans people to my kids well i am a ta in kindergarten class and i explained it to them today so um people were wondering if i was a boy or a girl and so they asked me one of the kids said bernie are you a boy or a girl and i said that's a great question i'm kind of in between and he was like what no are you a boy or a girl and i was like well are you a boy or a girl? And he's like, I'm a boy. And what do you think Lisette is? I think Lisette's a girl. Cool. So some people are boys, some people are girls, and some people can be in between, or they can be neither. Um, most people are boys or girls, and sometimes people switch from one to the other. What? You mean I could be a girl? Yeah, you could be a girl if you wanted to right now. Yeah, if you wanted to, you could say, I'm a girl. And if you wanted, I could call you by a different name and call you she. And he was like, but I don't want to be a girl. And I said, that's great. That means you're a boy and I'll call you by your name and use he. And he said, okay, so what do we use for you? And I was like, you can use whatever you like. You can call me Mr. Bernie, Miss Bernie, or just Bernie. And he said, okay. So that's how you explain trans people to your kids. Okay. So this bitch is crazy. Um, and it's just like, if you're an ugly woman, you're still a woman. Okay. Can we stop? Can we, can we stop all this? This is the issue. So we have these ugly, crazy women and these counselors, these activists that are saying you can choose to be whatever you want, little Timmy. And then Timmy says, wow, that's so interesting. That sounds so fun. It's like a game. I'd like to play the game. And then Biden Harris admin paves way for bureaucrats to take gender confused kids from non affirming parents. And this is a thread. We're going through this because I have five kids. This is very important for anybody, but it's very important to me. To gender activists consulted by the Biden admin, being affirming means to assume the child knows best about his or her identity, even if what he or she claims to want is life-altering medical procedures like hormone blockers, cross-sex hormones, and surgeries. The Biden-Harris administration's new federal rule directs states to ensure foster children who identify as LGBTQ are placed in affirming homes. These designated placements must commit to creating an environment that supports a child's status or identity, including through access to age-appropriate resources, services, and activities. To gender activists consulted by the Biden administration, being affirming means assuming the child knows best about his or her identity. Oh, man. Oh, man. Says uh, to... Cuyahoga o County, Ohio, Child Protective Services being affirming often means providing kids access to items like chest binders or prosthetic packers that mimic penis. The underlying premise of the rule is that it is mistreatment and abuse if you do not affirm a child's self-selected identity. 
At the tail end of the Obama administration, a group of researchers at the University of Maryland received a five-year, $10 million federal grant to establish a center aimed at supporting LGBTQ children at, in foster care. Cuyahoga's County's Affirm Me model included four in, uh, interventions. So here they are. Identification. The first intervention is Safe Identification Initiative, which is designed to identify LGBTQ youth, all youth 13 of age, along with some as young as three, are to participate in a SOGI conversation with their caseworker. The disclosure form walks the child through a series of leading questions about pronouns, feelings of gender, and or expressed gender. Acceptance. Once LGBT youth are identified, the Youth Acceptance Project can be implemented to persuade hesitant parents to affirm the child's gender euphoria. Third intervention, family finding. A third intervention helps foster children find adults who will affirm their identity and potentially become their legal caretaker, in some cases instead of their parents. And then four, preparing foster parents. The fourth program called Affirm Caregiver is designed to increase the number of homes available to LGBTQ youth already in the system by prepping foster parents to support kids in their care who desire to live as another gender, even if it means providing access to irreversible medical procedures. Biden announced in 2023 Pride Month statement that the HHS would advance rulemaking designed to protect LGBTQI plus youth in foster care by requiring state agencies to provide affirming placements. The HHS modified the final rules wording in response to some concern raised by faith-based group calling providers for children who identify as LGBTQ designated placements rather than safe and appropriate. It's also noted the rule does not require religious foster parents to become designated placements. The final rule must be implemented by October 26, according to the Federal Register. Uh this is what they're trying to do, man. They're trying to get your kids separated from you, intrigue them with crazy concepts that are far beyond their understanding, get them to play along with those, and then as soon as they start to play along with those, they will make you the bad guy for trying to intervene with their intervention. And then the state wants to take those kids away from you at that point. Uh, no one's taking our kids. Like it's just not, it's so not happening. It's so not happening. I don't need, I don't need to go there and tell you why and, and what would happen. I'm not, but no one's coming and taking the kids with this crazy grooming psycho crap that's going on.